<laughs> well, howdy there. Welcome to Mar Mike's Garage. Boy, I have got a treat for all you gearheads out there because what we're going to do today, we are going to clean the top of the pistons while they're inside of the engine. Now, what we've got here, we've got Dr. Bob's Gravely, awesome motor with a Kawasaki uh, 26 horse motor on it. And I've got the heads pulled off, the cylinder heads pulled off uh, because we're doing a head gasket change. And while you've got the heads pulled off, especially on this motor, there is just a ton of buildup, carbon buildup, old oil, just nastiness on top of the pistons. It's actually elevated. I've never seen it this bad. Uh, so we're going to go step by step, show you how to clean the pistons while they're still in the engine because you don't want to take part the whole engine. Uh, and I'm doing a video on this because there's a very specific way you want to do it. Since these pistons are still inside the cylinder bore, you don't want to get any of the wrong chemicals in there and you sure don't want to use the wrong cleaning product, sandpaper or anything like that to get chunks of stuff inside of that engine because we want to keep this as clean as possible. So with that, we're going to go ahead and zoom in and take a look at this pistons and clean her up. We've got a great shot of the piston itself. As you can see, this thing is disgusting looking. You've got your regular carbon buildup on top of the piston, but this one, I've never seen this before, just has chunks of stuff. I don't know, that's just carbon buildup. The owner of this mower, he just runs fully ethanol gas. This is part of the reason why I say run ethanol free gas because this stuff just builds up in here. And also this mower has got about 400 hours. So when we start the first thing, please do this. When you clean your piston, bring it up to the top of its stroke and clean it here. Because if you clean it while it's at the bottom of the stroke, you clean it and all this stuff's gonna get in your bore and then you bring it back up it's just going to pull that stuff down around the edges of the piston and you won't be able to clean it. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring it all the way out. Look at that. It actually protrudes out just a touch. So the very top and we're going to clean it here and then we're going to pull it back down and that way to get any extra gunk because we want to keep this all super clean. All right, now that we've got the piston at top dead center at the very top, what we're going to do, we're going to shoot it with a little carb cleaner here. Now, I suggest only using carburetor cleaner because it is alcohol based. It's not going to hurt anything. Do not use anything oil based, PB plaster. Don't use WD-40 because what that's going to do, that's going to stick on the metal and it's going to prevent the oil from lubricating properly and it can really screw up your engine. So just a little carb cleaner on there like so. And then to actually clean it, Screwdriver to take off the big chunks like I was doing, that's okay. Just don't dig in there. You don't want to scratch the surface of that piston. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use a wire brush and brush it. Now I'm using wire brush because that won't get any chunks of stuff in the engine, any metal shards. Now a couple things you should not use. Don't use sandpaper. Don't use any sanding discs because they have sand in them and you don't want any type of metal or anything bad getting in that engine. Also, don't use any of these flapper discs or emery cloth or 3M red type stuff because there's actually aluminum oxide built into these discs and you don't want any of that dust getting in there and getting past that piston ring because <laughs> metal and engines just don't work. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our, our brush here and just go at it. And just keep brushing, 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 brushing. Hit it with a little, a little more carb cleaner. And brush away. Again, make sure it stays at the top of its stroke. And brush. And then use your, your screwdriver to get around the edges. So I'm just going to spend a little time on this, cleaning this up. And we're going to come back in a minute and see what she looks like. Okay, so I'm back about 10 minutes later and you see we got a beautifully clean piston. Uh, the majority of the work actually was done with my screwdriver and then I used the wire brush to clean it up afterwards. Now that you've got your piston clean, also at the same time, make sure to clean the surface of where your head gasket is going to go on top of the cylinder right there just to make sure this is all perfectly clean for your new head gasket going on there. All right, now we're not done yet. Next, what we need to do, we need to draw the piston down into the cylinder right there because as you can see a lot of that stuff is along the edge right there and we want to go ahead and first just wipe it off and get any type of gunk out of there as you see we still got some gunk hang on there 
All right. Next, I'm going to go ahead and hit it with a little car cleaner around the edge, like so. All right. Now, we're pretty clean here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it go all the way down. Again, clean it in here a little more. Bring it all the way up. There that. We're going to do another stroke. That way it picked up anything else. Bring it back down and clean it again. Just go ahead and give it a wipe. A little tiny bit of stuff. All right. So I think we're pretty clean now. What I'm going to do next to prep it, you always want to put a little bit of oil on the cylinder wall. For me, I like this Royal Purple Max Tough Synthetic Lube. It's an engine lube, uh, an engine building lubricant. I'm just going to put a little there and just go ahead and lube her up. Go around the edge. Da -da, get your finger in there. And what we're doing, we're prepping it for the first start. All right, now we got a little lube in there. Go ahead and pull it back up. And sometimes the lube will catch a little bit also. So it's a good idea to go back in here, clean the lube, and then go in and lube again. And make sure when you lube it, don't get any <laughs> on where the head gasket, the mating surface. So don't use a whole lot. In other words, don't use my example. I see I used way too much lube. That's a common mistake of mine. So we're just going to go ahead and lube her up. There you go. And with that, we have got ourselves a clean, clean piston. And she's ready for the head gasket. Now, this is just one step in the process. I'm going to have a separate video on cleaning the cylinder head and replacing the head gasket. I'll go ahead and post them below. Uh, but just wanted to post this to give you guys a little bit of info on how this works. Again, I put way too much lube on there because you really don't want that lube sliding off. All right. Look at that. Now, that is a clean, clean cylinder right there. Super cool. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for some more engine fun in the next couple videos. More Mike out. You probably don't have it this bad. I'm going to use a screwdriver just to get off this big hunk there.